able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. This morning we are going to talk about the theme and this is the youth ministry theme for this year. It says, we believe God is able. Touch somebody and say, I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, as we go through our daily lives, we sometimes encounter challenges that seem overwhelming, impossible, impenetrable, and unchangeable. You know those situations that you just can't seem to find a solution for? These situations sometimes bring about such intense anxiety that it wakes you up in the middle of the night and it stalks you in the middle of daylight. It sneaks upon you and casts uh, cast a cloak of fear and concern over your shoulders that you can't seem to shake it no matter how hard you try. It can take you down. It can squash all hope. It can stop you in your tracks. You know those kind of problems that, I mean, even when you talk to your therapist, it's like, you just can't shake it. It's just like a standing, standing in front of you, this mountain that can't be moved, right? Yeah. Those kind of problems that it doesn't matter how you try to hack at it and, you know, you try to find a resolution, it's just not happening. Right. But God is yeah. still able. Yes. 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 You see, I don't know who this is for this morning. But the Lord is still able. You see, he's able to do, the Bible says, exceedingly. Now, now, I don't know about you, but I feel like this is a lot of adjectives uh, trying to describe one sentence that, that Brother Paul is trying to make. He said, it's, it's, he is, he can do exceedingly. So he didn't just use one word. He didn't just come and say, you know what? God is able to do it. Because I believe that would put a, a, a God on the same level that we are. You see, we, 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 we tend to try to question his ability sometimes when we have those situations where we can't shake. But Paul says, listen to me, brothers and sisters. God is not just able to do it, but he's able to do exceedingly. Now, if you look up the word exceedingly, it means far beyond. Uh, so he said he's able to do exceedingly. But Brother Paul didn't just stop there. He said exceedingly abundantly. Now, 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 now help me understand uh, uh, Deacon Smith, uh, uh, Johnny Smith. Uh, do you know, help me understand the English teacher that I know of in the house. That's a little fact. Because if you say exceedingly, which means far beyond, and then you come again and you say Few months, 
answer. You probably think girl will go sit down. That, uh, yeah, yeah, that's something I would not say. If I want to step out of the church and walk into a Ferrari, not that I'm a car person, but if I want to drive a Ferrari home, you said that would be a miracle. But can I tell you that God seems to specialize in the things that we think are impossible. That's why Paul had to reiterate it. And he says, above all, that we could ask or think. So those things that you think of, that you think it cannot happen, guess what? God has the ability to make it happen. Yes, amen. Far above all Amen. that we could ask or think right. or imagine. Yeah. Now here's the part that I'm getting to. It's not according to my ability. Mm. Yes. Pastor, it's not according to our ability. That's right, that's right. It's not because we're skilled, right? It's not because we're educated. It's not because we're experienced. But it's according to the power. According to the power. Anybody got some power in the house? It's according to the power that works in you. I'm closing. It's the power that's inside of me. You see, it ain't no tippy-dippy power. But it's the kind of power that comes from on high. Somebody say I've got power. It's the Holy Ghost power that's living on the inside. It's the Holy Ghost power that's inside of me. I hear Paul say, greater is he that is with me. Anybody call it yet? I've got power. Impossible. 
you to know that God is getting ready to turn it in your favor. He's going to turn it in your favor. And it's just because God is able. Come on, did you have to pray for Not that it's impossible, but the more you work your 